Let's start this next session with a little story involving our favorite bean counter. That is correct, the one that does your paycheck. Once upon a time, there was a small company that had one bean counter and one hourly employee. Let's call the bean counter pencil, and we will refer to the hourly employee as wrench, Mr. Pencil and Mr. Wrench. Every Friday afternoon, the bean counter would wander out onto the shop floor and say to the hourly employee, Wrench, what were your hours for last week? Pencil would then write down the straight time, double time, and triple time values on his pad of paper and then wander on back to his desk, the whole time wondering what is it that they do out here anyway. On the way back to his desk, he passes through the hourly employee's supervisor's office to verify the reported hours with Wrench's supervisor. We'll refer to this supervisor as Ratchet. Back at his desk, Pencil pops into his padded swivel chair, rotates to his side drawer, opens it, and pulls out a folder with the details and equations of company pay structures. And there he locates the hourly employee wrench under non-exempt hourly employees. Pencil writes down the equation used to determine the gross pay, take-home deductions, etc. for a non-exempt hourly employee. Pencil rotates again, opens the drawer to replace the folder, then extracts Wrench's personnel file to look up Wrench's pay rate. This, Pencil reads the data and then adds it to his worksheet, closes the folder, and replaces the file in the drawer. Pencil then turns his focus to the equation in front of him and takes the pay rate that was stored in his drawer and enters it into the equation, followed by Wrench's reported hours or live data that he just collected. Pencil crunches the numbers through his calculator, recording the results as he goes. Finished with the execution of the logical statement or equation, Pencil rolls a check form into his typewriter and types in the results of his calculations. Pushes back his chair and hand carries the check over to his boss, who we'll, we will refer to as Ink Pen, to get the check signed. With the check approved, Pencil takes another stroll out onto the shop floor, hands the check to Wrench, and exclaims, Have a good weekend, my friend. Don't loosen any nuts that I wouldn't. <laughs> this event plays out Friday after Friday. And then one day, Ink Pen delivers a new folder to Pencil's desk. Management has decided that Wrench needs some assistance, and the new hourly employee's name is Socket. When the following Friday rolls around, what does Pencil do? Well... Just what he has always done. He wanders on the shop floor and he asks Wrench for his hours. And then he comes back in an hour with Wrench's paycheck. Then he ventures back out onto the shop floor a second time and says to Socket, What were your hours last week? Pencil jots them down and then repeats the whole procedure for Socket. And an hour later comes out with Socket's check and tells him to have a good weekend and don't let Ratchet, his boss, torque him out of shape. Well, business picks up, and now there are nine hourly employees, with the addition of Phillips Head, Hacksaw, Extension, Straight Head, Wire Brush, Chisel, and Come Along. Pencil now is in a state of shock as he stares at this stack of hourly employee folders, and when his senses finally come to him, he thinks to himself, this is nuts. There isn't enough hours in the day to get all nine of these checks completed. I've got to come up with a better way to do this. Pencil's fellow employees who have always wondered to themselves what in the world does he do with all of his time notice his thoughtful expression as he walks from the break room and ask him what the problem is. Upon hearing Pencil's dilemma, Wrench, who has been observing Pencil for months now, exclaims, why it's real simple, don't you see? When you come out here to get my hours, why don't you collect everyone's hours before you return to whatever it is that you do in the office. Pencil now, not wanting to offend Wrench and look poorly in front of the other hourly employees, said, sure, why not? And he collected all the hours and then returned to his desk, thinking to himself, I should have done that in alphabetical order. Oh, well, next time I'll do it. So, from then on, Pencil collected all the hours in one stroll through the shop. Pencil then lays out the hours he just collected onto his desk next to a sheet with all of the hourly employees' rates 
and the equations to calculate their checks. Runs the calculations with both the data that he just collected and the stored data. Outputs the results onto one sheet, types, types up all the checks at once, gets them all signed together, and then delivers them out in the shop to the hourly employees all in one trip. Everyone was very impressed, and folks began to notice that Pencil was letting his eraser grow. It used to be worn right down to a nubbin. The moral of the story is this. If the logic in a PLC checked the status of every input that came up in a rung of logic as they appeared in the rungs of logic, and in turn updated each output at the end of each rung, there isn't enough time in the day to run the scan of the program. So, we collect the status of all of the inputs in one motion, execute the logic against the images of the inputs stored in the input file 1, write the conclusions to the output images stored in output file 0, and then we deliver the updated status of the output file to all of the output modules in one single effort. How clever we are. Back to the data table. 